Hello, my name is Mario Preacher, episode 6. Spoilers, if you have not watched this episode. James Kelsen! Kelsen, he's on this episode! Alright, if you ever watch Heroes, uh, yeah, that's why I'm like, oh crap, I'm like, he's on this episode, yeah. So, the first moments are like, what is going on? Yeah, he's taking somebody something, and I'm like, okay, it's sparkly, so I'm almost assuming, is that a soul? Or a piece of his soul? So, yeah, but the thing is, there's his family, they need money for their mortgage because the sister doesn't want to help, and then they're like, if you give 15%, it's double. We're like, okay, so, I'm like, what the hell is in that tube? And the next thing you know, he goes to someone's house, and this woman just like, wandering, and the husband right there, like, I need something of hers. Takes it, like, <gasps> remembers the person, and then $2 million, I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> huh, suspicious. I'm right there off the bat, I'm like, are these souls? I think. But the little girl is back! With the sink of killers. So yeah, there you go. And the thing is, she pointed at the wrong apartment. And he's like, preacher. <laughs> what, you wanna get killed, mother? <sighs> Shoots him, oh, about to shoot him, and then crushes his hand. He's like, preacher, I'm Jewish! <laughs> oh crap, oh like, Yeah, so he goes to every apartment and kills everybody. But he did shoot, and the bullet went all the way to their apartment and then Jesse's like wait I heard something and they're talking about TV they're talking about reality TV he's like I love it when those he talked about how he likes uh, like the biggest losers those type of shows how they get transformed like how they're big and then they lose all that weight like it's it really hits the heart I'm like wow and then he's found the bullet in the yogurt and he's like we gotta get out of here and they escape and then him that's okay killed almost everybody there. He went to the apartment he's like, who are you? Pew, pew, pew. Dead. So next they go to the library and they find a tape. American Psychopaths. Chapter 57. The Saint of Killers. Yeah, so they find out about his backstory about how his he needed medicine for his daughter and wife. They died. He didn't make it on time and then he killed a bunch of people and they also called him the Butcher of Gettysburg. They find out history and they're like, for the next chapter it will be chapter 58. Dick Cheney. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, chapter 59, Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, we can see. I was like, wow, that'd be crazy if they ever do that next season. I don't know, I'm just saying, but that was, I'm like, was that part in the comics? <laughs> sure, I really, I, right now, I'm like, I really want to buy them. Not to collect, but also to, just to read them. If they have a graphic novel, like the full volume, I'll probably just get that because getting Preacher number one, I think it's like in the hundreds. 150 something like that. Cassidy's like, oh! He calls Dennis like, don't go into the house! Don't go into the house! The Saint of Killer's there, and then you... And then what's the name Genesis? I'm here. I'm coming. So he goes there and tells him everything that God is missing. And he makes a deal with him. He's like, I'll find you a soul. Yeah, I'll get you to heaven. He's like, you take the deal. And he's like, okay, I have a condition. Everyone has to stay there, and he gives them one hour to find a soul. So, he's gonna find a soul. And he goes to this voodoo magic place. He's like, what you need, man? Incense. <laughs> and then he's like, I want a soul. So bluntly, like, I want a soul. He's like, what things make you? Like, well, you got a scale over there. You got some. Whoo. He's like, how do you know this? Who are you? Jesse Long Jail. And he's like, okay, I guess that's a very family name. Like, they know, like, you've been selling souls for 150 years. So he says, like, I need something like, I haven't sold a soul in 10 years. What? He tells them that everybody in the bayou has, they've been cleaned out by this new company. He's like, yeah, the damn Japanese. The rising sun. I was like, whoo. He tells them, like, yeah, they, like, they cleared them out. Like, there's no souls in these parts. Mm-hmm. Pray. I was like, wow. So they could, he told them, like, oh, look, just like clockwork. 5.15. They said they're, they're eating sausages and stuff like that. And they showed the truck. Oh, oh, I'm like, oh crap! I was right. It's a soul truck. It's full. It's filled. It's filled with souls. It's called Takamashi Urekishi Iku Iku. And I was like, so I'm like, soul shop or go go? <laughs> I was like, what? Well, or show company go go? I was like, well, yeah. I was like, wait, wait, Iku Iku. I'm like, how the hell was I? <laughs> I was able to read it. I was just like, just the words right there. Like when they sounded like. I'm like, okay. So yeah, so next he gets on the truck 
and he's like, not on it, he's right there, he's like, let, get out, let me in, using Genesis. And they can't hear him, and one of the guys flips him off, and then Tulip calls, like, where are you, Jesse? He's like, I'm a little busy. How can you open an armed car? An armored car, mm-hmm, guess what, there's a, where there's a warehouse store right there, it says hardware, that's what it was. He gets fertilizer, and I'm like, I already know what he's gonna do. Mm-hmm, yeah, he makes a bomb. He, the cell phone was a dead giveaway right there, I was like, wow, <laughs> woo! He made him, and then well, me, I was like, it ain't gonna work. It didn't. And then a cop comes. And then he used the cop to his advantage. He's like, tell him to open the door. Something like, hurry. And he finally does. And next thing you know, uh, James Kyson's character is all, like, has a bloody nose. And he's testing out all the souls because he needs one quick, quick, quick. Because time is running out. And he's finding, and he can't find it. He's like, this, this soul is rare. He's like, what about mine? And then finally, how much can we use? One percent. He's like, you won't miss it. I'm like, damn. So finally, he goes there, gives him a soul. He drinks it. He's like, I can send you to heaven now. And then finally, get on your knees. I get on my knees. No, and poof. He's like, that's why you could have listened to the word. I was like, woo, he's giving him a sermon. He's got to give him his <laughs> penance. He's like, yeah, because you didn't have a soul in you. So just that 1% of him actually helped him. Because he's like, disarm. The saver, the guns. I was like, oh shoot, I'm gonna send you to hell. Go on, send me to hell. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> he doesn't care. He's like, no, because he said he was gonna send him to heaven. He's like, you think a child killer bastard deserves to go to he heaven? And I was like, shoot, because his wife and daughter are there. And well, in the story, it says God bashed him and said, even Satan might fear him. So instead of sending him to hell, I was like, let's go for a ride. He puts him in the soul truck. And he's like, preacher. They go to the swamps. And I'm like, I know what he's going to do in the swamp. He's about to make them disappear. And yep, he put a rock right there in the gas. Woo! Yep, he sank the soul truck with the saint of killers in there. And then his last words were, Preacher! Mm hmm, he did God's work. Mm hmm, learn from your mistakes. That's okay. <laughs> well, anyway, those are the moments I liked from this episode. I liked it. All right, please come back to and take care. Bye.